shooting right here in the Bay State, more specifically folks right here in Boston, um, the equalizer, Denzel Washington, right. and the judge with Robert Downey Jr. And Robert Duvall. And Robert Duvall as well. Yes. And if everybody's, uh, like I told the show about a month ago we were on, I was trying to get Denzel Washington. I was right. trying to talk to his people to try to get a clip for him to come on the show or even say hi to everybody and give us like 10, 15 minutes. But he's working, actually working tonight in Chelsea. Right. He's a busy, busy man. He has well, a you know, schedule uh, like, yeah. right. And as you know, Jim, and, and many of the people know from watching the program, when a movie is being shot here in Boston, there's a minimum of at least 12 hours you have to commit. That's I mean, right. at least. And you're not even going right. to commit to anything under that. I mean, you probably could be working 14, 15, 16 hours on a set. Easily, John. And then, like I said, they're working tonight. They didn't start till 5.15 tonight, so they're working until 5 in the morning at least. So that's a tough schedule. Erica Derrickson. Lydia Rivera, join us tonight. And it's a pleasure to have you both on our program tonight. It's great to be here, John. Thank you. And Jim and I are going to ask uh, some, some good questions, some important questions about the industry. Both of you have experience in the industry. And I, have, I understand you have a, a tape for us, something that people are going to have a chance to see tonight. Yes, I, I brought my demo reel with me tonight. It's a two-minute compilation of some of the work that I've done here in New England. And a lot of people sitting home, right, Jim, are saying to, my, saying to themselves right. right now, What's that number? What's that number? Because I want to talk <laughs> to Erica about that demo tape because I want one too. 617-708-3280. 617-708-3280. Our phone banks are now open and our operators are standing by, folks. You can call us up. Jim, what's going on in the city? Everything, John. We're hot now. I mean, the weather's hot. I know that. <laughs> oh, that I mean, well, that's just, for sure. That's I mean, for sure. Everybody <laughs> like myself who has to work in it five days a week. But we're just starting to do more. And I hear there's two more movies coming up. I hear Billy Dow will be in next week. And he's a casting director, right? Yes, he's, he's a casting done a lot. director. He, uh, was it R.I.P.D. or Heat that he was? He, I think he worked on Heat, Heat. too. He was on so, Heat, yeah. yeah. That, in fact, that just got released a few weeks ago. Yes, it is. And R.I.P.D., is that released tonight. as of tonight? Tonight. tonight. It's coming out tonight, yeah. And Heat came out, when it came out, I think it came out to number two, but it was a big draw. It, it got a, big, first, a lot of good first, reviews, oh, too. Oh, yeah. 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 I was in the Heat. Yeah. yeah you were, Jim you were, and I worked on that as well. Police oh, officer. Great. I was a police cool. officer. Yeah. And our IPD as well. Yeah. Police officer. I'm a police officer yeah. all the time. That's why <laughs> when you get this face, what else could you be? You know, well, it's a good, a it's, it's, and it's a good opportunity, yeah. too, because a lot of actors here in Boston have a, have a chance to be in that. And a lot of real police officers sometimes get called for that as well. They do. And uh, Erica. We're going to see a tape of a demo tape, right? And give us a little about a little more information about what's on, what that comprises. So uh, this is actually a demo that I, I a demo reel that I finally built after about uh, a year of, of working here in New England. Uh, one of only one of the clips that you'll see. Uh, there's a, a sort of car accident scene okay. uh, that was filmed in L.A. right before I moved to Boston. That was from Rafi Baby, which is my film that actually went to the Cannes Film Festival last summer, which was pretty cool. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty awesome starting my acting career here in New England last summer, and my only real project that I was proud to show for myself ended up going to con. So it was, it was nice to be able to have that piece to, to build my career on. And like when you go to LA, you work in LA. Uh, have you worked there, or have you been out? You were out there. I was out there. I was, work, mm -hmm. I was living and working out in LA before I moved to Boston. Um, and you know, it, it, was, it was hard for me to leave and feel like I was leaving right. the acting scene behind and then coming to Boston and realizing that there's a really amazing, vibrant, mm, This dynamic. is the acting scene here, exactly, too, exactly. as Jim and I can tell you, exactly. and so, as you all know. So yeah, so, so the clips that you'll see are um, a variety of different projects that I've done, a <coughs> web series, student films, uh, right. uh, just a whole That's a whole how range. you start out. Exactly, That's exactly. That's how you start. Exactly. When you start, you have to take anything and everything you there can you get. There you go. Uh, and then with the hopes of putting together uh, a demo reel like this. So this is, this is a work in progress. This okay. is not the final. I'm working on the next version now. Um, but this is, this is what I'm working with right now. And, and a lot of people are going to be interested in seeing what that is. Lydia Rivera. And you join us from? I just started my own business. I formerly okay. was a spokesperson at the T. And uh, I've been in SAG since 97. But I'm doing more of it now. I used to do um, voiceovers a lot. I used to call. When I was younger, I did a lot of auditions for voiceovers, and uh, I was in Go Goodwill Hunting back in that day. That was civil, one of the first. That civil was one action, of the first, yeah. And um, the other one, Goodwill Hunting, Civil Action, there was a third one. Celtic Pride? Um, no. That was one that was shot here in Boston, 1996. Grown up. Blown up. Blown, uh, yeah. Blown away. Blown away. Blown away. Yeah. So, um, 
With that said, I've been in the uh, business for a while. I'm doing more now because I have more time as I uh, build my uh, PR business. But voiceovers, that, uh, now that's, a, like big, voice that's a big thing nowadays. Voice a lot of people right. are getting into voiceovers. Especially with a lot of animation too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The number one movie is animation yeah. nowadays. Mm -hmm. The name of the game is public relations. <laughs> it is, it is <laughs> PR. No, that's it. That's, if, yeah. if you were to say, what's the one thing yeah that this whole business is predicated on, mm -hmm. to, to get your, your product known. Of course, that's in any business, right. folks, pretty right. much. But the movie industry, the television industry, the right. entertainment industry itself, because people want to know, they want to know what's out there. And mm -hmm. public relations, you're telling them. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a more no, it is. salient it's a, business. It's about the pu uh, like being a publicist. I spent right. many years just promoting, obviously, transportation officials and the transportation secretary, the general manager, and it is about branding somebody. So if you turn around that towards yourself, about branding yourself and selling yourself, you could have a successful career here right. in Boston yeah. as an actor. And mm -hmm. your job, that, that job's not a Monday through Friday, that's a seven day a week, oh. work in 12 hours a day oh, also. Oh, absolutely, yeah, you know? so I'm used to the grind. Yeah. So having the opportunity to do more of the uh, acting and auditions, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Now how did you get involved with that? I know you have an eclectic background as far as public relations, but how did you actually get involved with the SAG and the acting? And for the people who are watching our SAG as Screen Actors Guild, it's, it's merged now with AFTRA, and right. it's the, the, the union for the mo motion picture and television industries. Uh, I, I just have to tell you that I had an interest uh, right. in that when I was younger, and uh, I, I went through Angela Perry. I've known Angela for... From Boston least, Casting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boston mm -hmm. Casting. She's great. I've known her for... 16, 17 every every years. actor in the area is registered and with her. Exactly, and she's great. And uh, again, as I built my career at the T, it was uh, obviously a demanding hour, so I didn't do a lot. So I kind yeah. of left that scene for a good decade oh. because I continued to uh, elevate at the MBTA in my career. Then I came back, and she was welcoming, and right. it worked. Well, what, what's your PR company specifically involved with? Is it the business itself? Just the business itself, is that correct? Well, yeah. I mean, it's a public relations community outreach. Right. It's branding. Right. And, and uh, branding means what, specifically? Branding is a, a, a company that just wants to re-energize their image. Right. And branding, too, would be someone uh, even like a politician. Right. Or a, a major, like a general manager of an organization, whether it's a private entity, right. that wants to enhance their image to sell a product. So okay. it, it's image building. Thanks. And it is like if someone called me and asked me to help them get on projects with SAG, I could help them. Right. Because it all kind of, it's kind of the same when you're, when you're just building someone's reputation or, or image. You know it what really I need? Does I work. need somebody to do my resume. Yeah. Can you See, do my resume? I, I, write, I do people's resumes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yeah. yes, I do. That's what so I'm this right. is like a, a, an all-service type here. Yeah, I, I, I help people get jobs. I, I rewrite their resumes. I, right. I try to build on their strengths, right. and then I send them out. And it's, it's worked. All right. Now, Erica, a resume for you is your demo tape. Pretty yes, much. definitely. Right. It's, it's one of the tools that I use right. in, my, in my PR campaign right. to brand myself as an actor. Right. Right. It's mm -hmm. definitely been one of my uh, greatest tools to help me. Now, what else, let me ask a question. You started in L.A. In, no. Uh, my, my journey is very long and, and complicated. Uh, the first time I, I've always wanted to get into acting. It's always been a desire that I've had, but I was too afraid to pursue it when I was younger because I just honestly didn't really have anyone who was encouraging me. I think I just really needed someone to believe in me. Yeah. And then when I was uh, living in New York in 2009, I was going to Parsons School of Design. That's when I uh, first took an action to, to get myself on screen, and that was uh, to make some connections at the New York Film Academy. By make connections, I mean walk in, and I was right. totally terrified. I thought everyone was going to turn and, and like, hiss at me because I was obviously <laughs> a fraud. You know, <laughs> Who was I to think that I could be an actor? Right. Uh, so that was back in, in uh, 2009 in New mm -hmm. York, but I never really had the courage oh, okay. to go after it. But I did get my first few little little credits, and then uh, after that year in New York, I then moved to LA, and that's where I started doing more projects. And then I got the Rafi Baby project, and so that set of experiences helped really prep me to to be in Boston. Prepared you and for all this. Exactly, it prepared me to to sort of hit the ground running here in Boston nice. once I you know made the decision to quit my job and just go for it. Ooh. Anytime. And there's a lot going on here in the city. Yeah. There's no so much about going that. On. Yeah. So there's much. So going much on. more coming on, and I think that's helps everybody here, it helps the economy also. It makes, gives people jobs, not only us, but it gives the people who work at the bakery, at the corner store, and people like that, sure. you know, because they have to buy stuff, they have the hotels are, sure. are more crowded nowadays because of the, you know, 
up upkeep in uh, two movies here. You got to right. put all and these people the, up. Right, and also the public relations that generate. We're talking about public relations a little bit. The public relations that, 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 that these movies generate, because people who live in various parts of the country and parts of the world see Boston and say, hey, that's a great looking city. I think I'm going to go see that myself. I'm going to see Boston myself. Those tax incentives are the big key. key and that's why, Jim, you know, Jim, that's a great point. That's why Jim and I are always reminding people the tax breaks here in Massachusetts yeah, is so important, folks, mm -hmm. because it brings the motion picture industry here to, Bo to, to Massachusetts, and these projects get done here because Boston's Boston and, and the confines and various other places in Massachusetts are so appealing to, movie, to, to the movie industry. But in order for them to come here, the tax breaks an attractive package for yes, them. It is. And that's where you can, you can help. You can contact your local senator, your state senator, not your federal senator, but your state senator and your state rep and say, hey, look, make sure that you vote for those tax packages for the movie industry here in Massachusetts because we want to see more movies made here. We want the movie industry to be here and gives us a chance to work in it too. We want to do what we love to do where right. we love to do it. Yeah. It also brings exactly. in big money to the state, folks, on a public relations level. I mean, I can't And it also say lets more us compete against Hollywood, New York, and when people see Boston in a tax center, like you say, are important. But the actors and actresses who come here, right? You know, Ben Affleck, who from right. Cambridge, who loves to make movies here, right? And Mark Wahlberg, loves to make movies here. The local actors who are giving back to the right. communities here. Right. That's important, I think, to anybody. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock, you know, Cup, Kevin, all, all Kevin people, James. Right. Melissa Adam McCarthy Sam. is famous for having said that she yes. fell in love with Boston yes. while filming very, The Heat here. She's a very nice lady. I met her oh, on Heat. Oh, she's so sweet. Very nice lady. She's and funny. Also, she's and funny. it gives, it gives funny. local <laughs> actors or actors in the region mm -hmm. a chance to ply their trade. That's mm -hmm. right. Well, really, there's almost pretty much no better place to get into acting than Boston. Right. Just because uniquely alone, the, the number of schools and universities in this city there are so many opportunities for people to get experience acting just being in student projects. Mm -hmm. I know Emerson you know. College watches our show. Emerson a lot. They College. do a lot of students. Wonderful they, school. We, I got a kid's number. He, he's going to come on the show. He's a director on Emerson. He em likes the show. Emerson has a satellite in LA, too, in Burbank. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Emerson does great work, and they the do. students there are just so, they, they know their mm -hmm. craft so well. I, I love working with Emerson students. Actually, you'll see a, a, a clip from. Uh, one of my projects with let's an Emerson get, student okay. in my yeah, Let's, let's get ready to watch that. Before we watch that, though, let's give uh, our home audience an opportunity to give us a call. 617-708-3280. 617-708-3280. We're cable casting live right here from the BNN TV studio. And that's right, folks. We are now worldwide. PR Inspector, there you go. You got it's good. very, very good. Now, that, that's a demo tape that you give to producers, is that correct, or mm -hmm. people that, casting directors that are interested in, in auditioning you? Exactly. So uh, when I apply to an audition or when someone reaches out to me right. to see if I'm interested in, in doing a project with them, that's what I'll share with them to, as, as sort of like my digital business card. Now, how, how does something like that get produced? Well, um, I actually, the, the clips themselves or the, the reel itself? The, the reel itself. So uh, I actually worked with a friend of mine and we did sort of a, a barter of services. I, I do a lot of stuff in my career just through barter. Um, you know, everybody has something of value to share. And so, mm -hmm. you know, for example, uh, I'll do headshots for someone. I'm, the, the next version of my reel, right. I'm doing headshots for this editor in Rhode Island. And, He's cutting the next Th version. That's of my why reel. networking is so important well, in this business. Networking and also just, um, I think one thing that's really distinguished me and helped me uh, really get a lot done in the past year is that I I don't see myself in competition with anyone. I I very much consider myself to be someone who's building a team, and I'm always looking for those all-star players that I want to work with. And so as I go forward, I I, I look for key people I want to work with. I always find ways to help people and. You know, that, that's sort of been my philosophy as I build my acting career. And, and one thing you did on that reel that people should do, you don't show one side, you show different sides. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's key. Well, you know, as an actor uh, yeah, and, and talking yeah. about branding yourself, you know, you, mm -hmm. you want to be able to show a range. Right. Uh, and so in that reel, I had everything from, you know, the, the evil, bitchy character, pardon mm -hmm. my French, <laughs> to, um, to lead characters. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there was a, a commercial for Ion Audio down there. I've done a... Uh, in, in Rhode Island, I've done a bunch of commercials for there. I'm, I'm almost known as the Ion Girl. Something for everyone, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. I so mean, and that's in this business, and we, were talk we always talk about this, Jim and myself. 
you're involved with everything in this business, writing, and producing. And you need, you need to be because this is such a, there's so much to this business right. and you can wear so many hats. You know, okay. I, I, uh, some of those I, I, that you saw, I'm also the producer on, on, those, right. uh, on those clips. Uh, I know there are at least two of them in there. Uh, so, you know, being an actor, I find it's, it, it, you're not going to find success by waiting for jobs to just arrive. You have to have a very, sort of make it happen. Philosophy. You have to have a proactive approach. Exactly. I'm, I'm very, right. I'm, my tools are the result of a very proactive approach right. To, right. to this industry. You can't sit back, wait for that phone call. You have to go out and make your phone call. Exactly. And the PR world is a proactive approach, too. Oh, absolutely. But I think, you know, Eric is smart about that. The, from my experience, even in the PR world and coming back into, into this world right. of doing extra work and et cetera and auditions, you, you can't worry. It's not a competition because everyone has a uni unique uh, abilities and, and right. they're bringing a unique That's qualities why you can't take anything personal table. in this business because no, what somebody's no. looking for, you, you may not have. And they're looking for specific things. Yeah, and you can't, you can't compare yourself and, right. and waste your time being right. jealous because it's not about that. It's not. Because you have your talents, I may have my talents, you have yours, and we all have our, right. our own unique talents. And that's talents. what's selling you. And that's what's selling right. you. So, you know, you do, you see that. If, if you could think more like Erica, a lot of actors out there, I think it would be probably a better team. For me, when I go to an audition, I'm not so attached to whether or not I get the job. I measure the success of an, ad, of an audition based on how much fun I had and how many cool new people that I got to meet. Right. And what you, you learned know? from. Exactly. Exactly. What, learned. what you've learned and from I, that. And I, you know, rejection is part of the game. Right. And, and I see it, my, my take is that if I'm meant to have this gig, then I, it's going to be right. me. And if not, that just means that I'm being saved for something better. Yeah. I look at it That's that way, too. That's a good philosophy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, sometimes, like I said, they look at me, they look at a police officer, and they, I get, you know, Pigeonhole every once in a while. Is that a lot right? of men do that's because right. you know you put the uniform on a guy and he fits yeah. the part. I mean that's with men especially. I mean yeah. we see that in a lot of a lot of the the, the films that we've seen in Ma in Massachusetts the last couple of years and you and I've been part of it have been about police, police detectives. Our I C D comes out tonight. It's about right. I mean police, police offices yeah. and uh, but the public relations world. Yeah, one second. I oh, think we got a phone. Do we? Yeah. Okay. Can we have your question, please. Yes, good evening. Hi. Uh, my question is, what is the success rate for an actor? What is the success what? What right. was that? Success the success rate. rate. What, what's like, what are the like percentage-wise for oh, an actor? Oh, okay. How many people who actually make it? Yeah, uh, you Erica. Know, uh, honestly, <laughs> the odds are against you, and it's yeah. if, if, if you... It's almost like you can't have that attitude going into it. it. I almost say, you know, it depends on how you measure success. Right. You know, if right. you're measuring success on how much fun you have and who you get to help and then you're what successful. you get to create. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, I, you know, a that's time. a great measure of success. But, you know, if you're, if you're measuring on how many Hollywood movie roles you get, you know, you're... you're it's, you, right. have to, you have to think of it as, as your job. When people say, oh, you do it, it's a job. Oh, it is right. a so it's, it's, you have to think of it as if you get up in the morning, it's your job. Okay, if you were going to be a teacher. You love it. It's all, it actually calls you instead of you calling it. Exactly. But you, but you want to do it so that that's all you do, and it's a tough thing to oh, do yes. sometimes. It is. It's it is. a tough thing to do. John, I think we got another phone. Okay, we have another call, Jim. Can we have a question, please? Yes. Um, I agree with... with um, this is Brooks at Jewison, first time viewer and first time calling here. Yeah. And the guy that I that is, is talking about so many movies that are made by police that involve police officers, I think he's right that we have so many oh, we sure movies have. that we sure have. We have we have so many movies that have to do with so many cops and robbers. Like I remember on my birthday in two thousand twelve, they were doing this cop movie that was based on a true story called The Gangster Squad and like that was based on cops and robbers from maybe the 70s of the Civil War and everything right, like that. Right, right. Well, you know, yeah. a, lot of, a lot of movies here in Boston have that element to it and it gives, it certainly gives uh, credence credence to, to the, the law enforcement world and also how many people are interested in these kinds of movies. Obviously with the trials and, and with the legal system now, a lot of the things that we see on televisions, uh, television, Bones, and a lot of the shows about yeah. forensic medicine and I, police, I know, like are popular. Law and order, like Law and Order, Special Systems Law and Order, the Law and order of course, yeah. right. Like the Perception, right. um, um, like Castle, mm -hmm. um, 
And other the great TV shows as well back in the Crockett days, like Miami Vice, right. the A, the A Team, and everything mm, like that. Right, well, from and the like, early eighties, right? People, and like, I think of the reason why so much people do more movies about police officers and everything because they want to dedicate, they want to dedicate their their well being. They want to dedicate their lives. How right. the world's finest. Of, of how the police and Boston are right. doing their job right. Right, and you know, I want to I wanna, you know, follow up on that, but thank you very much for calling, because that, that's great insight. Also because with the police shows and the detective shows, we're talking about the human condition, and everyone can relate to that. Right. I mean, it's something yeah. that everyone can relate to. But thank you very much for calling, and uh, glad you're enjoying the show, and right. we'll talk to you soon. I was, Six, okay. yeah. I was gonna say, they made a great point about how that's really one of the, the key selling points of Boston, is we have so much character here oh, between sure. the police force and yeah. between the police force and just the geography and the seasons here. I mean, Boston is such, and has the, such a unique And flavor. the ambience of the, of course, uh, the ambience. And the energy. There's just something in the, wa in the water yeah. well, here, you know? Well, people remember, we're, me and John are a little bit older, but the Brinks robbery, and the Boston Strangler, which is just came which up again. Which just came up again, again because these, of the DNA. These were oh, movies right. that came out 30 years ago, yeah. and now they're coming back. Right, and the uh, the Friends of Eddie Coyle, remember Eddie that, that was about 617-708-32... I, I think another eight. one just called. Oh. Okay, can we have your question, please? Uh, yes, I have a question for Erica. I was watching the clip, and I was wondering, is that clip supposed to be one complete story, and is it going to be shown to the public? Great question. So... What that, thank you for asking, what that demo reel is, is it's not meant to be a, a, a story uh, start to finish. It's meant to just show my range as an actor. And I use that as a tool just to, just to show people, this is, these are the different characters I can play. This is where I can, this is how I can fit into the vision of your story. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that, that demo is to sort of show them my range and just show them what I can do. It's, it's, it's essentially a marketing tool. It's, it's not an archival document. Right. Good question. 617-708-3280, 617-708-3280. Give us a call. It's fine. Your concerns, <laughs> issues, well, comments, <laughs> whatever. A lot, you know, there are IPD it, movie tonight, it's, too. It's, I know, about, it's opening up tonight. Um, but as far as the police detective programs, the forensic med the science and the forensic medicine programs that, uh, and the movies that are sh shot here, it does give a lot of character, mm -hmm. but it's also big city politics too, mm -hmm. and uh, people love this. People you know, people mind. love. It. Pe people don't, unfortunately don't Spe mind to see mystery death on TV and, and stuff. And Spencer for the, Hire, the, the TV right. series that was shot here, was about cops and detectives right. and all this stuff. And, and this is what people enjoy. This is what people like, and and Boston offers that, and not, not offers other things too. We had a movie shot, Mere Feet, folks. When I say this, Mere mm -hmm. Feet, Jim and I both worked in this not far from where we're sitting right now about talking animals at a zoo. And did that make Boston shine, Jim? That made Boston look good. Kevin James. Kevin James. And uh, here, uh, it was called The Zookeeper. Mm -hmm. uh, it did well. And uh, Kevin James came here for yet another film yeah. and yet another one. So he he's likes been the here area also. He he's a big fan too. of the area. You know, right. Boom. He did the Boom here and right. stuff. He's always you and I worked Adam on Sandler. that, right? Yep. He's always with Adam Sandler. He loves it. Adam Sandler, unfortunately, he's not making... Part three here, he's making that in Atlanta. I heard Ooh. Grown Ups 2 is yes. very funny, actually. Yes, it's good. Came out big the other day. I didn't day. have a chance to see that big yet. came out the other day. Finished second also. But it, like you say, it showcases the area. You right. know, all around, not just Boston, all the cities and towns around the area, up to Rhode Island, to Connecticut. It makes everybody look good. Right. And that's what the name of the game is. Everybody looks good. People will come here and make more movies. Right. Now, Lydia, the public, how is the public relations firm coming along? Oh, it's doing excellent. Like right now, well, to put my PR hat on, yep. um, to talk about what's going on in the city. Right. We talk about uh, the MBTA, 15 of their routes, they're uh, extending uh, bus stops, right. putting up new shelters. I'm specifically working on uh, Route 39, which runs through Jamaica Plain. I know 20, line 23 is going to be one of those yes, that's extended. Yes, I'm working on that's, 23. That's not far from where we are now. Exactly. I'm working on 23 um, Talbot Ave with uh, LM Heavy and uh, the Route 39, so they're doing a lot of enhancements on that route, so that's a good investment, yeah. and that's IRA funding, which is important. And then I'm also actually uh, won a contract with J.F. White and uh, ScanScout on the Green Line extension. Right. So I'll be working Where's that there. extended? Where is that extension that's going to? Green Line extension into uh, Cambridge, Somerville, and Medford. Yeah. Oh. So they'll be that's your area. Uh, I live in Malden, eventually so. by 2019, 27 uh, stops. Mm -hmm. But 
they're funded right now to do four of them, and that will be uh, occurring right now. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. So now through uh, 2017. So it is exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking brand new stations. We're just talking revitalization to an area Easy that access. needs it. We're, we're, just and we're talking about, talking about, a, about we're talking about a city that people are encouraged not to drive to because of the, the Boston is a fairly small city, exactly. and the transit system is is very comprehensive and take you anywhere you want to go. Mm -hmm. And it's a green, it's, it's a green environment. So it, it's it's a positive. So yeah. this is this is huge, and it's a very important project. And so this building well. right here was the T. Yeah. So this was an old power station. For the this tea. was an old power yeah, station. Was, it's a perfect and, example uh, of of how something can be renovated. And look, and the, look at yeah. the beauty of oh, the building. Oh, it's beautiful. It's look beautiful. At the beauty of the building. And it's a perfect location. It's accessible. So again, I mean, just from my experience when I worked at the T for so many years, um, the largest landowner in the state. Yes. So, now, you know, people don't right. understand that and know mm -hmm. that. But it, now, as, as a public relations person, do you have to do an assessment? If somebody came to you and said, look, I, I need some PR here, is there an assessment that you... Well, yeah, exactly. If someone came to me with a crisis management issue or even just uh, an image issue, of right. course. I mean, I would have to do some research. They'd have to be honest with me. I'd have to do some research in the background. And, uh, and in a because there's a lot right. No, no pun intended. There's a lot writing on that. Oh no, no there no, is no, a lot. No, no, there no. no I didn't mean that. No. There is. <laughs> you did it, but you did it. <laughs> so you have to be there, in a stand-up comedy. There is. <laughs> no, you're right. There is. There a is, lot. especially yeah. a person's reputation. Oh, you're dealing absolutely. with something that can't easily be, you know, wiped away if something happens. For example, I pursued I pursued Fungwa because I the wanted to. Oh, oh, I pursued Fungwa early on to the point that I found. I wrote a letter, I found out where the main office was, and I went to Chinatown, and I found the guy, and I knocked on the door. And I was like, I was just going to leave my package, my pitch, that when you get right. your buses, in, when you get your buses renovated and re-inspected, I'll help you bring them back to the street yeah. with a new brand. And if, I wanted if to brand anybody it, needs a new brand. Right? So I wanted to rebrand it, and um, for, the guy opened the door, and it ended up being the president of Fungwa. But that never worked out. But as mm -hmm. you said, you had to be careful because I could yeah. have ended up in some, yes. you know, right. <laughs> bad you didn't situation. Know. But that's a yeah. hands-on, you know, that's a hands-on approach. You have to approach. do things like that in my world. You have to take that chance, you know. I think we got another phone call, John. Oh, do we? So, okay. Can we have your question, please? Well, good evening, John. Hey, this good evening. Ted Lewis. Hey, Ted, Lewis. how are you? Hey, Ted. Well, I'm recuperating, and uh, I, I just wanted to stop in and say hello to everybody. I'm watching well, thank the you. show. Via the social media computer. There you Ted go. is our social media guru. Yes, and, and the reason why you folks, why you watch it on YouTube and you see it on the websites and everything is thanks to Ted. That's right. Ted does a great job. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, the he people does. here at PNN. Hey, guys. Thanks, Ted. Ted. Ted is back and forth to New York. Ted has a lot to do with Trip to Bountiful with Sissy right. Tyson. Uh, Sissy Tyson. We are doing very well right. with the uh, production. As a matter of fact, I got a chance to hang out with the cast uh, last last week, and it was phenomenal. I'll be uh, talking about that when I get back to Boston. And uh, but right now, I just wanted to say uh, uh, you're doing a fantastic oh, show. Oh, thanks, too. Ted. Thank, the thank you. The uh, There was a glass train at one time, which I happened to see a picture of. I sure hope they bring it back to Massachusetts. Massachusetts is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful state. It really needs to be shown off, and uh, yeah, the MBTA is the ambassador. Thank you, Ted. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. thank you very much. And it's always a pleasure to hear from you and, and work with you. Um, and that's what the movie industry says. We yeah. love Massachusetts. I hope so. <laughs> we give them tax breaks. Yeah, that's and that's so important to do. That is that's key. so important to do. You know, unfortunately, it's a money situation. I mean, and, you know, Ted, that's bad. Ted brings up something that's important. Ted is doing some work with Trip to Bountiful, which is, which is running in New York City right now. Yeah. It's on Broadway with Cecily Tyson. Yeah. And the theater district here, which is not far from where we are right now, they get tax breaks too. You know, there are tax breaks mm -hmm. involved with that on a, lo on a smaller Small level scale. with the city. Yeah. But the, am the amount of people that come to the theater district mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Yeah. And that's because of PR too. Right. That wasn't like oh, that 25, right, right Jim? It no. wasn't like yeah. that 25 no. years ago. Yeah. No. It wasn't like You're that, right. but now it's, it's just huge. bustling. Another call, John. Can we have your question, please? Uh, yes, I have a question for Lydia. Lydia, yeah. are, you, are you acting in anything now? And do you find now that you're involved with the PR, it's harder to find acting roles? 
Um, no, uh, well, presently right now I do, I'm do. i doing some extra work. I've been doing a lot of work on the judge with Robert Downey Jr., just background work, and I've done some work on the equalizer. Um, I've just started to promote my business, so um, no, I mean, I'm, I'm able to uh, juggle them both, but obviously um, I do have to choose my business first before I take the gigs with the uh, extra work. But it's been flexible for me as opposed to when I worked at the T having to work, you know, 9 to 7, 9 to 8, uh, and I was required to be there at a specific time. So now I have that flexibility to take on uh, various right. other things, and I can juggle them. Um, no, I, I'm having um, an exciting time. Um, as, my, as my PR business grows, obviously I'll have to make some choices. <laughs> Right, and that, that's an important thing that we, tough choice. we, we yeah. talk about that a lot because Your it's life. not necessarily the acting world as much as people love it, mm -hmm. and we all promote it, of course, and we've all done a lot of things. That doesn't mean that you work with it or you work at it 7, 24 7. No. You don't. You know, you don't. We have a lot of projects here, but not everybody is called mm -hmm. right. all the time, even when they are here. Mm -hmm. So people do have their day job. But I had a question for you How does a PR person do the PR for their company? Um, okay, so um, I initially came out and I built my own website. Right. Um, I didn't overthink it. Um, I, I got a certificate with the city of Boston, a so, business certificate for fifty dollars. Um, so social media is key here. Oh right? yeah, yes. I'm on Twitter. I have um, a LinkedIn is huge with right. me. Right. Um, it's a professional. Right. Uh, right. As you know, uh, site uh, again Facebook. I have some cards um, and just networking. Networking right. huge. I go like to a the, lot like, of like networking the business, events. The business, networking. Right. I have to promote myself um, everywhere in Boston. Any event I'm invited to, I'll attend. Um, I'm certified with the state now as a um, DBE, Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. Okay. I'm a uh, women wow. business enterprise, and um, I'm just networking and I hit the pavement every day. Mm -hmm. Nice. You know. You have a you've had a chance to work in some projects here too. Work films. Quite a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Specific though. The, do the you judge. Have a, the, well, both of you worked in the. Well, actually, no. I, I I didn't I didn't work on the equalizer? judge. I did I did uh, go for the audition. I did go okay. for the callback, right. and I didn't get the part, which, right. is, which is fine. Um, but I didn't work on the equalizer. But I did sneak onto the set twice when they were <laughs> when they were filming right next to my office right. in Charlestown, okay. which is kind of fun. I felt like a ninja. <laughs> they're also in Chelsea, they're also in Chelsea too, right? Yeah, that's well, they're all tonight. over the place. They're all over, yeah. When I saw them near near where I was, I couldn't I couldn't help. I, I'm, I'm like a I'm like a moth to, to 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 the flame when it comes to a set. I just I'm, I'm you drawn just to sneak it. over because to craft services. <laughs> no, I, I did I did help. I did that but one. The, but the business right? the business is is very appealing. You know, oh, yeah. it's and almost I like we we I don't choose the business. the business, the business chooses Absolutely. us. We have a desire to do this, and the opportunity is here. Absolutely, and more so than ever before, especially with the New England Studios uh, launching very soon. Yeah. That's right. We had yeah. we, Joan um, Quinn Eastman on. We had Joan Quinn Eastman Jones on a couple lovely. of months ago, and the the uh, New England Studio apparently, Jim is go, is ready to open. If not, if it hasn't already, right. it's opening in August, August at some point. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure if it's already opening or, 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 or yeah. open, but it's opening in the middle of August. Is that correct? Phase one uh, of the development right. is scheduled to be completed by September 15th. Okay. At which point they will be open for business. All they right. have four sound stages yeah. uh, with total o with an office to support. Mm -hmm. uh, they can uh, support. A we can do TV pre shows. We can do exactly. pre production. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything. Production everything. and the, post production. The, the studio. Right. The studio provides everything for for a large production to come. To Boston and make Boston. Because it's home. almost like they have their own exactly. they had to right. back in New York exactly. or LA. Exactly. Right. Now they can just cut and it in half. What's also great about the New England Studios is that they're really focusing on on uh, employing local people. Right, and that's important. And for so many years, we've been think we've been hearing that well, there's going to be a studio here and there's going to be a studio mm -hmm. there and there's somebody's going to build one here and the financing is coming through for this one. But this is real. Exactly. This is I've, here. I've been there. This has been <laughs> built and this is going to open. Yeah, and I think that was also one of the biggest challenges with the studio is is combating all of the fail the, right, the failed projects. Right, because in the we past. had other projects that, that just didn't exactly, make the it. Exactly, the studios, make and it. there's a lot of you know there's a lot of still sort of like residual disappointment and negativity. So now when people you know that when they've had to to co combat that. So Hollywood is here. Hollywood is here, but it's 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 its own thing here. The dream is here. Maybe Hollywood itself, as we know it, is is not here in the same form, but the dream of Hollywood is very is very much alive and well here. And physically, it's here. And physically, physically, physically too. Or Hollywood East. Well, yeah, that name right there. Some people like it. Yes. Some people like myself. I went into 
the Mass Film Bureau and talked to Lisa Strout. She's right. in charge. I okay. talked to her via uh, a phone call because she was out sick, but I've got, I have a planned meeting with her next week. And I told Lisa, and I told other people, right. that Hollywood East reminds me that we're still trying to be Hollywood, where I think we have to make our own identity. I think we're not New York, we're not Hollywood. Right. We're New England, Rhode Island, Connecticut, but we should be named something that would be appropriate to us. That we can live up to our own name. And Hollywood is coming here because of right. what we do have to That's offer. right. We could be called something else besides right. Hollywood. And Lisa Stroud agreed with me. She's the head of the Mass Film Bureau. Right. And like I said, I have a meeting with her set up for next week. And we're talking about more movies coming here, more principal roles for actors here instead of going out to L.A. and in New York coming to uh, our area. Right. We're going to have new, new because principal work. Because even though we have a lot of projects here, yeah. the, it's the extras that get the... We don't have... A, the, the well, extras right. get the I, jobs I was told, here. I was told the other day by a staff worker of our leases that right. there's more principal actors in the last Being two years here. here than ever before. Uh -huh. And there's more to come. That's what the meeting will be next week. And that's why it's so important for these auditions. That's right. Absolutely. That's how you get chosen. Absolutely. And we'll be. We'll, we'll, and you have a good tape. Yeah. <laughs> and why it's important for people to have a tape. Yeah. For real. Well, you know, not just have the tape, but be getting out there and going to networking events. Yeah. I mean, I'm every every single MPC event. I'm there networking. The, mm -hmm. That's the Massachusetts Production Coalition. Yes, it is. The Women in Film has a great monthly free networking event for filmmakers. Right. That's open to both men and women. Um, Bossy Pug last night, that's the Boston Creative Pro user group led by Dan um, Barubi. Mm -hmm. uh, he started a networking group more for the, the post-production side for the editors, the, anyone interested on the actually the, the production side of making right. films. So last night they hosted the guys from Red Giant, which is one of the most amazing visual and effects that, software. And that provides a lot of jobs, and we don't talk exactly. about that very often. About well, people really don't know about it. it. Right. Yeah, they don't know someone about brings that. it up, right. they don't know about right. all these jobs that behind the scenes. Right. Well, that's the thing about acting and, and filmmaking is that you see the actors up on screen and it seems like it's all about them, but it's not. No. It's the actors are All you have to do is look at the credits at the oh, end. God. I think we got that. one more phone call, John. Hey, Jim, we do? Okay, we, we have your question, please. Hi, yes, I have a question for Erica. Yep. Erica, I was wondering, have you ever done any modeling for eye makeup? You have the most beautiful blue <laughs> eyes, and if not, have you thought about that as she a, can't see my eyes? some way to make money? <laughs> well, we never talked about it. Yeah. We never talked about modeling, but people in this business, both male and female, both male and female have both, modeling experience both here. My experience in yeah, front of the sure. camera started out modeling. Yeah. Um, I was living in Singapore at the time. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've, I've lived all over the world, including Singapore, India, Paris. Um, and then when I was in, in the United States, I've lived in Chicago, Washington, D.C., wow. Maryland, Los it's Angeles, so New York, and then now Boston. <laughs> Chicago is a great city. Yeah, it's a wonderful, wonderful it's, it's place. It's a great place. Um, but, uh, so I started out modeling, uh, but I, it just never really appealed to me. I don't think that I'm a, a very good model. Um, and, and your interest is more... My interest, yeah, I, just, acting, I, right. I, I have a, a desire, a, a, a desire that I cannot deny that I, right. I need to be acting in front of you the camera. You don't follow your hat. Right. Yeah. And, right. I mean, modeling is, you know, to be an actor, you pick up side gigs mm -hmm. all where you can, and modeling is... is it, modeling and promo work can be can be great, but that's not really and it's my called, And that's called print work, too, for the people that are yeah. in the industry. And, and we've done stuff like that, too. Print work, you know, mm -hmm. you see I'm people. too short, too. Also. I'm a shoddy. <laughs> well, print work is lucrative, and you can't just listen. No, that's and it's hard and to it's all, use of course, yeah. when of you're waiting for the right. your roles. I mean, mm -hmm. although you, you're focused on being an actor, uh, again, you, it, print work is lucrative. Voiceovers right, yes, are lucrative. Yeah. I mean, when you, you can, can go in, them, yeah. when you get them, you can go in. Yeah. I did a lot of print work when I was younger uh, for, um, you know, magazines and videos and, and things like that. And right. you can do an hour work and make six hundred dollars. Right, yeah. and I mean, we don't realize know, that there are a lot of modeling agencies here in in there Boston, are. and they're involved with the casting yes. of extras. Yeah. They're involved with right. the whole thing. Six one seven seven zero eight three two eight zero six one seven seven zero eight three two eight zero. Mike. Co-host Jim Sayer and I, co-host co on the show tonight, about the motion pitch industry and the importance of keeping it here, having it come here, and keeping it here in the Bay State. That's why, folks, it's very important to contact your local Absolutely. senator, Massachusetts senator, Massachusetts rep, and say, hey, look, we want those tax breaks to stay here in Massachusetts. We want those movies to keep coming here because it gives Massachusetts uh, some great PR, provides jobs for a lot of people both in front of and behind the camera and it's just overall it great economic it doesn't cost much right 
and it doesn't lose. We don't lose money. Right. We never lost money on any film. And maybe they'll come to your town. That's you right. Know? I mean, they, they're in, the in Dorchester movies. and Roxbury and Mattapan with filming all over. That's right. And it's a good, it's a good investment. Right. And, and that's why a few years ago we we all went up to the state house. I was up to the state house. I contacted my rep, and when we went in the state house, the room there, and they were talking to all of us about you know why should we keep the tax, but my rep was right there front and center. Jim, that's important. Right. Jim, Jim had a chance, and myself as well, had a chance to work in RIPD. Jim, tell the audience how much was spent. That movie... 120 million. Some serious money. That's a lot of money, John. Some serious money in the city. Wasn't it the largest, the biggest yes. production budget yes, here it was. of a film made in It was. Oh. And they filmed months for months and months. And Four, they filmed five, six months maybe? Five months, I yeah. believe it was. And yeah. they spent a lot of money, just not on the film. I know we were in High Park and indoors for nine days. We were working, and they sent out pizzas at 11 o'clock at night. So they it helps the infrastructure, 60 too. Pizzas. A, lot of, a lot of, yeah. That's you just right. think of the, the coffee alone. That's right. <laughs> I mean, the people don't realize that everybody takes a part of the movie business when it right. comes here. When they film in, no matter what city or town, that town is being tenfold back the money that they put in. Right. Everything from flower shops to That's lumber right. yards, coffee shops, That's food, right. hotels. Everything, taxis, every, Kate, every aspect. Kate Hudson, when she filmed here, the first movie, the Bridal, was it Bridal Wars? Bridal Wars, right. The girl came in with the flowers. They spent $6,000 on flowers for the one scene. And then her second film was with Dane Cook. That was yeah. uh, my girlfriend's friend or my best, best friend's, friend's girl. Friend. Yeah. Yeah. John we had a pot in What's Your Number. See, what's everybody your see What's Your Number? John had a good right. pot in there. You had, no, you Delivering had the flowers. Deliver, yeah, deliver. I was a security <laughs> guard. I was like the, yeah. secure, the head of security or something, delivering flowers. But you, you uh, Shutter Island, you've got, you had a good part there. Was it Shutter Island that you had a good part? Shutter Island. Shutter Island. So Jim and I have done a few things. And One last phone call, I think, John. We have a question. Can we have your question, please? Hi. Uh, this question is to both the ladies. Now that there's so many adventure pictures for men, as women, do you find it more difficult to get really good roles for women that have good stories? Good question. Good Lydia? question. Good question. So, uh, you know, great roles for women are definitely... Uh, Meryl Streep. Yeah. Well, you know, for example, the, the, the Heat, that was, that was starring two powerful of leading yeah. females, which was, which was great. And I would personally love to see more roles like that. Um, I, do, I do find that I'm able to find a whole range of, of roles that allow me to express different kinds of women. Um, Is it... It's what it is out there. It's a man's world, they say, and a lot of men move. But women in, in this foot business is just as equal as men, I think. I don't think the men have a, you know, upper hand no. or anything. What's no. great about this industry, it's, it's equal opportunity. That's right. yeah. you, know, you, right. you can That's go as far, as far as you, as, as hard as you work, you know. Mm -hmm. You can go as far as you, take, as you take yourself. And if there's not a good role there for you right. that you like, make one happen. That's Write right. one. Make it happen. That's, I, that's my philosophy. That's yeah. I believe it's competitive. And I believe that men have it a little better than women. Um, I, it's a business. Yeah. And, and well, from see, what I've experienced yeah. in my business world, it, it does stream into the, into right. the acting world, absolutely. Right. Right. But again, it's your uniqueness and your drive to succeed that will get you there. So right. while more male you, you're a female, exactly, and you're female and you want to break that glass ceiling, I mean, you can't. Like, like what you had just said, Eric, there, the two films right now that are opening up or, or will be opened by tonight, Heat and R.I.P.D. Heat is about woman, you know, that would be a, a picture of this. Female buddy but, yeah, buddy yeah, cop. And, and then R.I.P.D., a lot of younger males might go see something like that because mm -hmm. it's an action-adventure film. But they're, both of them are out there. They're both major releases. I don't know where the time went tonight. It's, it's like almost over. But if people wanted to get in contact with you, Lydia, how would they do that? Okay, well, uh, they could, um, obviously I'm on Facebook, but my email address is uh, lidriv at verizon.net. Um, my communications business is, uh, I have a, a website, it's lidrivcommunications.com. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they can contact you? Yeah. And Erica? Uh, my branding online is really easy. Uh, it's Erica D. Actress, that's my website, ericadactress.com, so Erica Derrickson is my name. So okay. ericadactress.com, you can also find me on Twitter at Erica D. Actress is my Twitter handle, and I love tweeting, and I love meeting well, new people. Well, social media is, and then, PR is the name of the game. And then on Facebook know? as well, uh, facebook.com right. slash Erica D. Actress. So it's really easy to remember, and it's really easy to find me. So you can see more of my work and my demo reel on my website. 
And I love connecting with new people, and I'm always open to, to meeting. We love having you on the program. Thank you. We love have both of you on the program. It's been fun. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are sitting home saying, you know, Jim, Jim and John have like this screenwriters are coming on all the time, and actors are coming on all the time, which is true. And uh, directors come on, the t uh, come on all the time in comics, but we never really saw a demo tape like we saw tonight. Yeah. You know, that was something interesting to see because people are sitting home saying, I want to see what movies, that right. Right, we right. Had We've had directors film, bringing right. their film on, right. but an actual demo tape that sells you, and you're the product. You're the right. product. You're the one that's out there. Mm -hmm. And I am my best agent. Yeah. I am my, right. my best source of opportunity and work. Right. But it's smart that you diversified it, too. Right, that is. You, you diversified. She had because you don't know what they're looking for. Yeah, right, but exactly. So that she In this business. I mean, they could be looking for anybody exactly. to do anything. And that's why you can't take it personally if they don't no, want you. No, of course Because not. it's not personal. Right, they were just no. looking for something else. Right. One last phone call, John. I'm going to sneak one in. We have your question, please. Yes, hi. Good hi. evening. This is Helen. And hi, Helen. Colin. I was calling to say that I enjoyed the show. Oh, thank you. As always, and I wish Erica the best because she has a very positive attitude. <laughs> and you very keep much, right on doing what you're doing, young lady. <laughs> thank you very right. much, ma'am. And, and you all have a good night. Thank you, Helen. It's always it's always a yeah. pleasure to hear from you. Helen calls on our show occasionally. Tyrone comes Tyrone's on sometimes, and, and Tyrone she's and a good I. friend of of uh, he's a good friend of Helen's, and I uh, always enjoy when Helen gives us a call. Well. Me too. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> She's cool. Yeah. So, uh, you know, one of the things that we mentioned, we mentioned this a little bit tonight, and we're going to mention it tonight to, to give credence <clears throat> to hear what goes on, but, but we always see people, because of the very nature of what it is, we see people on screen. We see people on film. We see people on television, just like you're watching the four of us right now. But we have to say a very special thank you and a very special appreciation. We get this in the movie industry, too, to all of those people behind the scenes. Because, folks, believe me when I say this, Jim and I don't do this on our own. No. We have help. You, what you see tonight is because a lot of people are involved here at BNN, and they're helping put this show on television so that you could watch it and to know how important, how salient, how, how essential mm -hmm. bringing these projects here to the Bay State. Right. Absolutely. And everybody on who comes, they see us, but they don't see the people behind the cameras. Right. Or the control the room. room. It's the a people. hot day today, and they made their way here. They did to help you know, us out and bring right. this program into your homes. And, right. or, or because of thanks to social media, on your phones and on your iPads and, mm -hmm. you know, on wherever else that you happen to be watching it. And that's, that's saying something about social media. It, it's out there. Right. It's, to it's ignore social out there. media. Is, oh, no, you can't no. do that. Not to in this business. To ignore social media is to deny the direction that the world is going. That's right. You, and you can't fight that. Yeah. You know, if you want to see anything now, you can see it on YouTube or you can see it anywhere. And it's, it's instant. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. If that word right. can be applied, everything now is instant. Well, the barriers are down. Right. Yeah. We, have, we can be, especially using uh, technologies like Twitter, I mean, I can directly communicate with people that I want to work with. You know, I can, I can sidestep all of the threshold guardians and go straight to the decision maker now, thanks to social media. Well, mm -hmm. someday we're going to have Twitter's people sitting here asking questions on Twitter, yeah. right, to one of our uh, guests. I'm sure John, that's not on. Ted will, Ted Ted, will do that. That's Ted true. will have to tell us how to do, how that, to do that, Jim. We I mean, he'll have to train too bright on we, that. We ha we'll have to I'm have Ted do that. I'm actually hosting a Twitter webinar for actors <laughs> yeah. and, and, and uh, filmmakers to learn how to use Twitter for their careers on, on the 30th wow. in the evening. It's a free webinar uh, co-hosted with... Um, uh, award-winning actress and marketing consultant uh, out in L.A. named Emily Grace and a Twitter, essentially, guru, this guy named right. Keith Keller in right. Australia. So the oh, three of us are going to be hosting a call. It's free and open to everyone, uh, uh, and that's on the, on the 30th. you want to give the address? Or? Sure. Uh, people can visit the, uh, the, the, the link to sign up and learn more. It's http colon forward slash slash bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash Twitter for H-E-A. <laughs> if you're interested, just Maybe reach out to find me. it on just you. Just find me, find me, <laughs> find if, if you exactly. find me on Twitter, Erica D. Actress, or on my website, yeah. get in contact with me if, if you're interested, and I'll give you all the information to sign up. There you go. Twitter exactly. is such, well, I mean, I've gotten, I've gotten roles, I've gotten lead roles in web, in, in projects because of people that I've connected with over Twitter, right. you know? Awesome. That's how you do That's it great. nowadays, instant. Like yeah. Lydia and Erica, thank you so much for being on thank our show tonight. Thank you for having and us. And Jim, as usual, thank, thank you for you, being John. the great co-host that you are. And we're looking forward to some of the uh, projects that are going to take place, continuing to take That's place right. here in August, July and August. Anything coming in September? 
I think there's two movies coming. I know, like I said earlier, part one would be the movie that we're going to sign up for next week. But the second movie, I haven't got a word on. I'll find out next show. Join us in September for an all-new edition of the program. Take care.